This is one in a series of user tutorials for the Tektronix H600 RF Hawk. To look deeper at a signal, the H600 RF Hawk also has a spectrogram display. As with the upper display, the horizontal axis is frequency, the vertical axis is time, and the color range shows level of power. You can see a wide signal here, narrower signals throughout, and also a hopping signal here that shows up as a flash on the upper display. Let's see what happens after making some adjustments on the color scale. We'll change the vertical scale so that the upper display shows full power. Remember that if making adjustments causes the spectrum to move out of view, you can just drag it back where you want it in the display. So now, after changing the vertical scale, look at the color contrast in the spectrogram. It becomes very apparent where signals are and where signals are not, with hotter colors showing stronger signal power. To look at the characteristics of a specific signal, you can go to the spectrogram drawer and look at the data record. By pressing the up arrow on the keypad, you can step an index marker line to any point in the time record. Then you can analyze any of those signals in the spectrum analyzer mode in a way that would be very difficult to do with other instruments. Now we should also mention here that the H600 RF Hawk is an FFT based instrument, which means that when you record a sweep, you'll be able to look at the entire frequency range at once. Some other swept instruments with spectrogram can be difficult to work with if the signal is turning on and off during the sweep. The H600 will always show you the full width of the signal. Now let's go down deeper with our analysis using some of the full capability of the H600 RF Hawk. We'll turn on Trace 2, add a max hold, then go back to spectrogram mode. We'll also slow down the spectrogram trace interval to 3 seconds per trace. You can see the max hold buildups resetting every three seconds as well in the upper display. So now, for three seconds, the spectrogram is collecting data at the full speed update rate and storing that data in a max hold waveform. At the end of three seconds, it starts over, collecting a new max hold waveform again at the full data rate. What's important about this is that when the trace gets full, you can export the results, then start collecting a new spectrogram and you can then go back into your data records and analyze the signals you caught. This process can be done remotely as well. Be sure to watch the other movies in this H600 RF Hawk user tutorial series.